Hi, welcome to Free Spirit and welcome to another quick spirit pick me up. So I kept on getting the self care, divine self care to keep going because we keep on getting keep going messages. Um, so this is going to be all about taking real self care to keep going for more. How, what, is, what is the divine self-care to keep going for more that we have to do? So we're going to tap into real divine self-care and real divine abundance and see what are the messages from spirit that are supporting what they're saying. Real divine self-care, the self-care to keep going for more. Um, so let's tap into the divine, real divine self-care to help us keep going for more. That's what there's, it, because these are the messages that they want us to keep going um that we have backing but we also have to back ourselves and our energy we have to back our power even but they specifically guided me to these two decks so i want to see what messages for real divine self-care when they're talking about the self-care needed to keep going for more for better for what we're doing the real divine self-care that would help us Real divine self care to keep going. What are the real divine self care messages? Tapping into our energy. What would help us to keep in mind our real divine self care so we can keep going with all that we need to be doing in the physical? To keep going for more, to keep going for better, with whatever we're doing during the day. Right away. Oh, wow. We're getting two messages. Know your innate divine worth as you greet the world so that you do not accept anything less for yourself. So this is talking about really standing strong in your divine worth, um, your divine self, like they were leaning towards in the beginning, your divine power, that you're a divine spirit, a divine soul. So you're divinely worthy. Um, just it's God confidence. Um, it's knowing your innate divine worth as you greet the world so that you do not accept anything less for yourself. So this is really protecting your, this is encompassing so much because it also is like what we, what we say to ourselves, what self-criticism, what negativity, thoughts, feelings, all of that to remind ourselves that we're a divine spirit, a divine soul, and that has divine worth. It's your divinity, your worth. They keep on talking about us as a jewel to really know that. Um, it's beyond words, um, but to really know your divine worth as you greet the world with whatever you're doing and don't accept anything less. Stand up for yourself with confidence and strength to succeed. Um, this is a recurring message that we need to stand strong, stand up with confidence. They were talking about like that God confidence. That's why I was a little distracted. It's knowing your worth and standing up for yourself in that worth with confidence and strength over and over again. The resiliency of that, but almost the rock of it is that you're a jewel, you're divine, and you stand up for yourself. You treat the world that way. You continuously rise up. Uh, in your divine spirit and worth and go forward with strength and confidence has been a recurring message and free yourself when you know it's time to leave or move on. So there are going to be things that we're leaving behind, the situations, circumstances, people, um, and look at it as freeing yourself when you know it's time to leave and move on. Don't hang on longer than necessary. It's almost like, you know how we talk about cut the cord? Cut the cord sooner of situations and people that either are not valuing, valuing your divine worth or it's freeing yourself from situations that you know, what was this all about? This was all about taking self-care to go forward for more, to keep going. Um, so there are gonna be some things like if it's blocking your progress or it's not honoring your divinity, or it's not paying off for you. Um, this could be a real evaluation time of recognizing things that are not reflecting your divine worth, the things that you need to stand up with still for confidence, strength to rise up again, to be resilient, to keep going, going forward for new and better, meaning we have the Eight of Cups come up a lot, uh, that it's okay to move on. It's okay to free yourself from things go for better, to go for more, 
and we have, yeah, you have the pure divine power, heart and soul to be able to do it all by yourself sometimes. So they really do want us to stay in our, they're reminding us of our pure divine power, heart and soul, your divinity, your divine worth in that. You stand up for yourself, you keep going with confidence and strength to succeed. You continuously free yourself when you know it's time to move on for better. You don't let uh, situations, people, circumstances take your divine energy, your divine pure power, heart and soul to be able to do it. Um, so that is what they're saying is to take real divine self care of yourself, to remain in your divine power, your pure divine power, heart and soul to keep going forward, even if it's all by yourself sometimes, because even all by yourself, you can stand up for yourself with confidence and strength to succeed, knowing your divine worth as you greet the world. And you can free yourself when you know it's time to move on. A lot of us are moving on. It's really interesting. We're really, we're moving on on the big stage and the small stage, but we, we, we just are, we know, and we know when it's time. You hear the honking? It's time to move. <laughs> okay, real divine abundance. So now they're saying this is the divine self-care to keep going for more, literally to keep going for more. What we can keep in mind when it comes to abundance. Real divine abundance, we have be full of appreciation for all, all you have right now as it only attracts more to appreciate. So right now in this moment, appreciate all that is in existence. Um, they kept on saying that over and over. Be mindful of your thoughts and what you're focusing on. Focus on appreciating things, thanking things that are in your life. It attracts more to you. Have full appreciation, you're attracting more. We have two more. <laughs> right when it says focus on appreciation, now we got not one card, but two. Surround yourself with positive, beautiful, inspiring people, sights, and experiences to uplift you now. We've been getting a lot of cards about uplifting your spirit, keeping your vibrations high. When you uplift your spirit, everything else follows. So despite what's around and going on in the world, you really do want to surround yourself even more so right now. Feed yourself with positive, beautiful, inspiring people, sights, experiences to keep your spirits up over and over to help you stand up stand up in your full divinity and to keep being in your pure divine power, heart and soul to keep doing it. Um, you have to keep your spirits up and be uplifted constantly, constantly surround yourself with that energy and tap into your divine infinite wisdom and access the way forward. Did you hear the honking when they were like, free yourself and move on to better, keep moving forward, knowing your divine worth, um, being in your full, pure, divine power, heart and soul. And sometimes you can do it all by yourself. You have spirit backing you to stand up in your confidence and move forward and free yourself. They're saying you can tap into your divine infinite wisdom and access the way forward, which reminds me of your divine compass. You'll get divine ideas. You'll get signs, symbols, messages. You'll just get a divine knowing. You'll be inspired along the way. It's almost like breadcrumbs to follow. Um, sometimes your divine idea is what you're getting. Your divine compass as you move on, like the Eight of Cups, freeing yourself, moving on for better in your divine worth, standing up for yourself with confidence, your keep going for better to make move on for more. They're saying along the way, on that path, you tap into your divine infinite wisdom and access the way forward. You'll have that wisdom like breadcrumbs on the path, um, showing you, yes, you're going the right way. This and that. That's what they're showing me. It's like in the mind's eye. They're like breadcrumbs. What you're getting. So just trust that. That also helps you stay in your divine power, heart, and soul. And we have, yeah, find joy in all things, big and small, as they will uplift your thoughts and energy to find more. So again, we had that full appreciation. Be full of appreciation for all you have right now. Surround yourself with positivity and uplifting and you're going to be having ways to go. You're tapping into your divine infinite wisdom to access the way forward and continue to find joy in all the things big and small as they will help, you know, uplift your thoughts and energy to find even more. There's a lot of upliftment here to stay in your pure divine, your divinity, your divine power, your divine strength, your divine spirit, your divine worth to find 
to free yourself and move on for better, for more. And they're helping you to stay uplifted. They're helping you to be in a state of appreciation, um, even when you're in a state of moving forward to make things better. Um, and they're going to show you like breadcrumbs, divine ideas, and things along your path to keep you uplifted, to keep you moving on to better. <laughs> I mean, it was like how it began and how it's ending. Um, this is all about taking real divine self-care to move on for better. And here it's like you're going to get infinite wisdom, stay uplifted all along the way. Don't let anything in the meantime take away from your divine energy, what you're thinking, your positivity, your divine worth, not standing up in confidence. That you, you continue moving on. You continue freeing yourself and walk in joy, surrounding yourself with positivity and upliftment knowing that you're accessing the way forward, that you have spirit actually guiding you and helping you to stay uplifted and moving along that path to better. This is what's all about divine self-care to keep going. <laughs> and they're encouraging us to stay uplifted and to keep going and keep freeing yourself and keep staying in your divinity. And that's how they they want us to go and we're ending it with there are no limits to what you can create and that was 11 11 on the video when i said that this came out on the other reading that no matter what we're going forward to keep going on with and keep freeing yourself and keep going and tapping into your um you know your divine infinite wisdom and you're accessing ways to keep going forward and you're staying uplifted and in your divine power your divinity and staying uplifted and appreciating the whole way um staying in that vibration um they're saying we're emerging as a stronger empress we're emerging as a stronger empress this is the same message in a different card there are no limits to what you can create when you stay in your divinity your divine worth you stay uplifted and positive you are standing strong in your divine power, heart, and soul. You continuously free yourself to keep going forward for better. Keep working, going forward like that. You're following your divine compass, accessing the way forward like breadcrumbs on a path to better. And you keep surrounding yourself with positive people, inspiration to be uplifted. Find joy in the big and the small. Stay uplifted and in appreciation. And there are no limits to what you can create. It's beyond the physical. So this is what they want us to stay connected to. This is the self-care to keep going for more. There are no limits to what you can create and go in this fashion. This is a beautiful quick spirit. Pick me up. Take care. Bye-bye.